but one should strive continuously to be stronger and advance bravely. And those were the core values that pushed the Chinese Red Army through the long march, laying the foundation for what would become a new nation, the People's Republic of China. A century later, in an era of peace, fast economic growth, and tremendous social change, the Chinese People's Long March continues, this time, into outer space. Well, I think uh, we have experienced uh, more than 60 years of development. Uh, in the very beginning, we are using very primitive tools to develop our rocket technologies. In the same year, the Soviet Union launched humanity's first artificial satellite. Chinese scientists started exploring space-related technologies. 13 years later, in 1970, China successfully launched its Dongfang Hong-1 satellite into space, a historic moment for the nation. The rocket carrying Dongfang Hong-1 was also the country's first carrier rocket, the Long March 1. Geopolitical competition caused by Cold War tensions made it tough for Chinese scientists to advance. As the U.S. knuckled down for a space race, hoping to leapfrog and gain advantage over the Soviet Union. It came a long way from the 1960s, where we had a painstaking uh, stage, and in the 1980s and 90s, where we had a, a, an external constraint policy from the U.S. and other countries. But Chinese scientists never lost hope that one day the unknown would be within reach. Today, China's Long March rockets are larger, more advanced, and run on greener energy. The country has successfully sent rovers to Mars and the Moon. The scientific objectives are simple, and could one day benefit all humanity. So that we can study the possibility of migrating people to other planets, or even at least travel to those planets and to become what we call an interplanetary species, so that uh, we can also better understand uh, how the world is going to function and how the climate will change, how the global disaster will be prevented. China is currently in the process of launching a new space station. It is expected to be up and running by 2022. And China says it welcomes developing nations to come on board. Chinese scientists say the long march into space should not be explored alone. His achievements matter to all people. Xu Xinchen, CGTN, Beijing.